Hello, I'm Mr. Howard. In this video, we're going to look at polynomial fundamentals, and specifically, we are looking at uh, being able to identify whether we have a polynomial or not, and then if we do have one, being able to identify that polynomial's degree. All right, so let's look at a basic definition, and then we'll look at some examples uh, later on. So a uh, basic definition is a polynomial function is the sum of power functions and it's in this form that you're seeing right here. This can be a little confusing so I've gone ahead and written out an example so we can map this definition look to an actual example to hopefully help this be a little more clear to you. So looking at our definition example here we have uh, a, b, c, and d in our uh, example here are actually coefficients okay so in our uh, example that we have written out here our coefficients would be 7 here negative 3 here 1 third here those are all okay they can be positive they can be negative or they can be fractional okay that's all okay for the coefficients to be that way we also have a e here that is a constant we have a constant right here of negative 5. That's fine. No problem there. Um, now, looking at the exponents here, we have an exponent of n, and then we have n minus 1. So we're just dropping our power here. So, for example, we have a power of 5, and then we skip a power of 4 here. We don't have a term that's a power of 4, and that's okay. That's fine to do. And then our next power is 3, and then our next power is 2. Then we skip a power. We don't have a, an x to the first term here. That's okay to do. And then we're down to our constants. That's all okay. So our exponents must be positive integers. So these must be positive whole numbers. So 5, 3, 2, 7, 10, 40. They just cannot be negative. The exponents cannot be negative. So I couldn't have 7x to the negative 5. Couldn't have that. I couldn't have 3x to the 1 third power. I can't have a fractional power. Okay. Uh, the highest power in, in our example up here, is the degree of the polynomial. So when you get these, it's important to write them in descending order of power. So just like I've written it here, so that you can quickly pick out the degree of the polynomial. And the degree of the polynomial is simply find the highest exponent you have, the largest exponent you have. And in this case, it's a 5. So we have a, have a fifth degree polynomial here. All right. So that, that's a basic overview. Now let's look at some actual examples here. All right, so this says, in the following examples, decide if the function is a polynomial, and if so, what is its degree? Okay, looking at this, we have 4x times the quantity x minus 1 squared. All right, so that really means 4x times x minus 1 times x minus 1. That's what this means. So we need to expand this x minus 1 times x minus 1 out, and when we do that, foil it out is what I mean here. That's another way to look at it. So we would then have 4x out here and then we, I'm just going to draw arrows here so you know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just foiling this out or expanding this out. So that would be uh, x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1 is what you would get. You can uh, check me on that but that's what you're going to get. And then we would need to distribute this 4x in here to these three terms and finally we would have 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 4x. All right now we can tell yes we definitely have a polynomial by our definition here we don't have any fractional exponents we don't have any negative exponents and uh, everything looks to be in order so yes we have a polynomial and it is a degree of 3. So our answer here, after all of that, is yes. And it is a degree 3 polynomial. Because we have an exponent right there. The largest exponent is a 3. So it's degree 3. All right. So let's look at example 2 here. 
Example two is pretty simple here. We don't have to expand anything out. It, it's very straightforward. We have an x to the fifth term. We have an x squared term. And we have a constant over here. Our exponents are positive integers, just like they're supposed to be. So everything is in order here for us to say, yes, this is a polynomial. And the degree, we look for the largest exponent. So that would be a 5. So it is a degree 5 polynomial. All right, no problem there. Okay, looking at example three here. Uh, at first, uh, I'm going to rewrite this so you can see it a little better. We have x over six minus seven. This may confuse you at first, but I think if we rewrite this, it will be easier to look at this. So let's let's do that. X over six is the same thing as one sixth x. Okay, and then we have our minus 7. So looking at this, you can tell that we have a coefficient that is 1 sixth. Remember, it's okay to have a fractional coefficient here because we have a power of 1. It's not raised to a fractional power. There's an implied 1 right here. We don't write it. We could, but we normally don't. There is an implied power of 1 here. So we can tell it. this meets all the criteria to be a polynomial. No problems uh, in this one at all. So we can say, yes, it's a polynomial. So let's write yes here. And highest exponent, the largest exponent is a 1. So it's a first degree polynomial. Okay. In this case, it would actually be a line, right? That's a linear graph, and technically that meets uh, the criteria to be a polynomial of first degree. Okay, example four, we have five times the cubed root of x minus 19. All right, here is the quick rule. If you see a root of any kind, a square root, a cubed root, a fourth root, whatever, in your um, equation here, your function here, then you can immediately throw it out. Because remember that our exponents must be positive integers. And if we convert this cubed root, if we go back to our algebra two rules of exponents, we can rewrite this as 5 times the cubed root of x can be written as x to the 1 third power. That's equivalent. The cubed root of x is the same thing as x raised to the 1 third power. So 5x to the 1 third minus 19. We cannot have a fractional exponent. Remember, our exponents must be positive integers up here. This is not an integer. It is a fraction. So therefore, it is out. So no, it is not a polynomial because we have a fractional exponent here. All right. So remember, if you see a root of any kind, square root, cubed root, fourth root, it is not a polynomial. All right. Let's move on to some additional examples. All right, here we have example five. We have 17 over x minus nine. So if we rewrite that, it would be 17 over x minus nine. All right, so we have x in the denominator here. Anytime, here's a quick rule. Anytime you have a variable term raised to a positive power, in this case, x is raised to the power of one, the positive one, right? Uh, so anytime you have a, an, a variable term in the denominator raised to a positive power, it's not a polynomial. Because we could rewrite this expression uh, using our exponent rules from uh, algebra 1 and algebra 2. 17 over x could be re rewritten as 17x to the negative 1 power. Okay, remember when you have uh, a negative exponent like this, you can rewrite it by moving the this term right here. The, or let me say that again. Moving this variable x to the negative one to the bottom. So we would put it, move it down here to the bottom like we have here, and changing the um, sign of the exponent to positive. Okay, so 17 over x is the same thing as 17 times x to the negative one. All right, and you could put that in a calculator if, if you want to check it, but it's it's true. Those those rules apply here. So this expression in pink is equivalent to this one in blue right here. Now, this part right here means we do not have a polynomial because we have a negative exponent. Our rules stated that we had to have 
our all of our exponents had to be positive integers. This is an integer, but it is not a positive integer. So it's out. So long story short again, if you see a variable term in the denominator raised to a positive power of any kind, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, it is not going to be a polynomial. All right? Okay, let's move on to um, example 6 here. All right, so we have, uh, I'm going to rewrite this one again, 8x cubed minus 3x plus 2 over x minus 4 and this is a rational expression here because we have one polynomial divided by another one so it is not so no by the way I need to write no over here uh, negative exponent uh, was the reason here and this is no because it's a rational expression now you can also see here that we have a variable term in the denominator raised to a positive power so that's out too but this is a rational expression that's enough to say that we do not have a polynomial all right let's look at the last two video uh, the last two examples for this video and it'll be done all right so we have 4 to the x plus 11 all right well we have a variable in as an exponent and our rules stated we had to have positive integers for our exponents and it did not say that we could have a variable for an exponent so that's out this is actually actually an exponential equation so this is no okay we have a variable as an exponent so that's out no it is not a polynomial all right example eight all right we can quickly spot this right here nope not a polynomial it's got a negative exponent remember 12x to the negative one could be rewritten as 12 over x okay so this is what you could rewrite this example like this 12 over x plus 8x plus uh, x squared we have a negative exponent now if you see it this way if they gave it to us like this it would be out because we have a, a variable term in the denominator raised to a positive power or in the way they gave it to us in this case we had um, a negative exponent either way Regardless of the form, it's out. It's not a polynomial. All right. So that's it for this video. I will make a second video uh, for this particular lesson where we look at uh, polynomial roots and end behavior. See you in the next video.